Hello and welcome to another edition of The Great Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Today I will be discussing the subject of Goddess's male children. Goddess loves her male children very much and she wants them to worship her. Now, I know that there's a lot of dedicated male goddess worshipers out there, and I just want to say kudos to you. Congratulations, you worship the goddess. But not all men worship goddess, as you well know. And this is mostly about men in general, men at large, not not singling out goddess worshiping men. This isn't about you. This is about men in general. So goddesses male children basically have forgotten her. They've forgotten the goddess and they worship uh, other gods or a male god or a male supreme being and they don't know about goddess anymore. They don't worship her anymore. They, they follow other gods and maybe goddesses but they don't worship one great goddess. They don't worship her. They don't even know about her. And this is a problem in our society at large that the goddess is unknown. And it's up to us to educate people. Those of us that are, are goddess worshipers need to educate people about the goddess. Now I'm not saying that females haven't forgotten goddess because the females have forgotten goddess too. In fact, everyone has forgotten goddess. Okay, but this is about, this video is about the special relationship that goddess has specifically with her male children. She loves her male children very much. I want to emphasize that. She loves them and she wants to help them. She wants them to remember her. But she can't do it alone. She needs our help to tell people about goddess. Now, goddesses' male children share a special relationship with goddess because, of course, they're male children. She wants people to know how much she loves her male children because it seems as if she only loves her female children, right? Like, her female children are the ones who are worshipping her, and so it seems like goddess belongs to the females. Well, that can't be more wrong. Goddess belongs to everyone. She belongs to everyone and her male children as well. So, Goddess loves you if you're a man. Goddess loves you and she wants you to worship her. And don't forget about her because she always is thinking about you. She's always there for you. She's with you day and night. She's always in your in your heart and read it, reads your thoughts and she wants you to know about her. She wants you to know that she loves you and she wants you to worship her. So the male children and I think that males as well as females can be males can be priests to goddess too. It's not just priestesses. It's not just priestesses. It's not just women that get to be um, goddess worship wor worshipers or goddess uh, priestesses. Also men can be pr priests to goddess as well. So this is a role that's open to men and men shouldn't uh, back down when they say they want to join in goddess worship. If a, if a group of women is excluding men and saying only women can worship the goddess, that's wrong. They should allow men to join their group as well and they should worship goddess together because there, there's not a lot out there for male goddess worshipers. Let's face it, there's just not a lot of resources and not a lot of people who are contributing to goddess worship or saying let's worship her together 
and the ones that are out there worshiping goddess are all women groups that want to keep it to an all women's group and they don't want to uh, to invite men into their group even though men want very badly to worship goddess so if you're a male goddess worshiper basically what I want you to know is you're welcome and you should have the opportunity to worship goddess together with other goddess worshipers that's your right and if anyone's excluding you from a group or not allowing you to participate be just because you're a man that's wrong you should be able to participate in goddess worship and eventually hopefully the female goddess worshipers will grow up and include males in their group but for now they're not including them but just so you know that it for the future that uh, you're certainly welcome in any group that I would run for goddess worship you would be welcome in my group and so um, if you're a male goddess worshiper just remember that you're not alone there's other goddess worshipers out there there's other people that believe in goddess too and we're there for you so as far as men at large the men all men all together as a group they've mostly forgotten goddess and goddess wants them back she wants her male children to worship her again but it's going to take a lot of effort to get them to come back to her fold because she she's not she's not known by anyone they've forgotten her um, they've f forgotten who she is they worship other gods and goddesses they worship a uh, male deity instead of goddess and they do all of these things and goddess is forgotten she's completely forgotten in all of this so what she what needs to be done is she needs to be to she needs to be told to people people need to be told about goddess and it's not just her male children that have forgotten her her female children have forgotten her as well everyone's forgotten her so I'm not singling males out but it's true that men make most of the war in this world and they uh, can be quite violent and um, goddess doesn't like violence so not all men are violent but men do make most of the war in this world so goddess wants her male children to turn again to her and stop making war and stop being violent that's what she wants tune in next time for another edition of the great goddess